Just a few short days after OpenAI released their Sora video model to the world, Google shocked everybody by releasing their VO2 model, which looks 10 times better. I'm gonna go through how to use this model, some of the examples, and the quickest way to get access. Let's jump right in. So this came out on Twitter just a few hours ago. This actually came out last night, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. So here's an example of Google's VO2, their new model, cutting a tomato. So this is a guy with a knife cutting a tomato slice here. And and someone is comparing that directly with Sora, and you can see it's not even close. I mean, Sora doesn't get anywhere near the realism of this Google model. Now, I'm going to go through a bunch of other examples here, and it is really, really good. This is coming from a guy named Peter Sherano. He's a, a big guy on Twitter who does a lot of really cool stuff, and he got access already, and he's showing what you can do with this model. I'm telling you, I've been testing every one of these video models right when they come out. As soon as I get access and I scour Twitter to find all the best examples, this is way better than Sora. I thought Sora was the best out there. It, this isn't even in the same playing field. Uh, VO2 is insanely, insanely good. So you can see the cinematic style here, but what makes it so impressive is what I'm going to call the AI artifacts. So what you can see, you know, the way AI moves and, and the way that uh, people's bodies, you know, morph and change shape um, and, and their hands move and things like that usually makes it pretty obvious you're looking at an AI video, even with the best models like Sora. I don't see any of that in VO2. So however they train this model, and we'll get into that a little bit later, is why it's so freaking good. I mean, it is insanely good. So let's look at some of the examples that came directly from Google themselves. Uh, so here we have a chihuahua or some kind of wiener dog here swimming in the water. Very, very cool. This is sort of like a 3D realistic view of somebody, you know, running through some kind of a cool field here. Pretty cool. Also, almost like a video game feel here. So this is actually their image gen model. So they actually also released a new image gen model. I'll go over that at the end of the video as well, if you want to see what that looks like. Very, very cool, free to use, and very powerful image model. So let's see here. This is also from their image model. Let's look at some of the other videos that they created here. So let's go to, let's go to some videos here that I have pulled up. Again, so so good with the movements of the humans like i said like there's no artifacts right the way their hands are moving their legs are moving they're not like conjoining together um like you see with a lot of ai video it's very very consistent very very good a few more we'll go through in this thread so this one's awesome really cool stuff let's keep going here so okay fast sports movements are a sort of a Turing test, and I'll go over the, the big Turing test in, in a second here. Fast sports movements are a very hard test for AI video models. Uh, it has a very hard time, again, tracking human movements. This isn't perfect, but look how good of a job it does. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I know this isn't perfect, but it's just so much better than every other model right now. If this were Sora, this would just be a huge jumble of limbs and arms flying around. It wouldn't even look close to this. So it's very, very good. Check this out. This is nuts. Check this video out. So she's doing some kind of like a product demo here, right? Look at the congruency of the hands and the way she's flipping the product demo around and the congruency of the product itself. So, so, so good. This guy reading a newspaper. The fidelity of the face, so, so, so good. Now, some of like the cartoonish stuff it does is also really amazing. This is like a 3D video of, I don't know what this is, like a peanut or a bean running around here. Also incredibly good. Let's look at a few more. Yeah, there's really no model that comes close to this right now. It is insanely, insanely good. So before I keep going here, the reason people are thinking as to why this model is so much better than Sora and all the rest is because Google has access to YouTube. A little known fact is that when you're uploading YouTube videos, you give Google the right to use these videos for their training of their models, right? So they're training their AI, their text AI on Google search, right? They have the biggest basically index of information ever of of all time with their Google search. But with YouTube, they have the biggest index of videos ever of all time. So they've obviously trained their model using YouTube. This is the, the theory right now. It's, it's pretty obvious. And that's why it's so good. So they've been pretty silent about this kind of lurking in the background. But I mean, man, when you see this come out, look, at, I mean, just look at this dog running here. It's so perfect. It is so perfect. I mean, they must have been so excited to release this to the world when they had this ready. This is just going to change everything. It's going to change 
change the way we consume media. It's going to you know, change the way we consume content. I can just see this completely changing the world. So I have never felt more confident that AI video will take over as I have today as I'm going through these examples. Absolutely mind-blowing. VO is the future. I'm going to show you a few more examples here before we wrap this up. This is a beekeeper, you know, looking at some bees here. Very, very cool. Again, some, some more dog stuff. So I thought Sora was the king of animals and animal movements. Pretty sure VO just took that crown along with everything else. Just so cool. This, they have the cinematic stuff. They have the, the animal movements down, the human movements down. Everything is so, so good. This is a big Turing test also, the shuffling of cards. So you can see she's moving them around with her hands. And, you know, it's a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but they are so, so close. So the real Turing test that I wanted to show you is the famous spaghetti test. So let's check it out. I just post this on Twitter. Let's see, or X, I should say, let's see what it looks like. I mean, that's pretty good, pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. That's about as good as you can get for, for AI eating spaghetti. So very, very big deal uh, what they've done here. So again, at the end, I'm gonna show you how to sign up for that. But the one last thing I wanted to show you with their release is that they've also released Image Gen 3 which is their new state-of-the-art image generation model. So they're using this new model here to generate video and images. So you can get this for free. You can just go to Gemini and get this for free. So just go to Gemini.Google, sign up. You can use with a with a free account. You can try this out. So I just used it to generate this squirrel flying to space on a rocket ship here. So very, very cool. I'm pretty impressed with this also, but obviously the big news here is the video. So if you want to sign up for the video model, I'm going to put a link to this in the description. You're obviously going to need a Google account. You're going to hit sign up to try. It's going to take you to a Google Labs page and you're going to join the wait list. So there's a wait list for this. You have to join this and eventually you're going to get access to this and that is how you join. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. What do you think about all this AI video? How do you feel like it's going to change the world? What are your thoughts on the future of media? If you like this video, definitely give it a like. It helps the channel a lot. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel.